Yeah, so when you're faced with uh, uh, an opponent who's about to attack, it, it, it's not ideal, but there are times when you're not ready. Okay, you're taken by surprise, or for whatever reason, you're just not able to attack. Uh, what uh, many people end up doing in that sort of situation, you could even cut out, man. They go, oh, they block. Okay, so when you block, uh, very bad examples are blocking the, you know, the, the door and the kote and the man all at once, but there's not much you can do from this. Okay, you are basically incapacitated. So if your opponent's good and you block, okay, uh, they can strike all sorts of things because you're left completely open. So when it happens that you are not quite there, your opponent has taken the initiative and you're going, ah, oh, what do you do? The important thing is to keep your posture and keep your kansan alive and use your feet. So instead of blocking, if your opponent's coming in from man, okay, I've just moved out to the side, okay, but kept my kansan alive. And that way, uh, even if he does get over my shinai, uh, I'm already out on an angle, so he will not be able to strike. Uh, so this gives you the position or the opportunity to strike uh, man if you like or uh, to actually put your opponent off, off balance and take back the initiative. So just to show you what I mean, in particular, it's important to keep the kensan in the middle and to use your feet well, okay? But moving with hiraki ashi out to the side. comes over my shinai like that, my body is out of the way, okay? It's not ideal, you should always be ready uh, to execute an orgy waza, uh, but we know these things happen. So rather than blocking, keep yourself alive, keep your kensen alive. Yes! Yeah.